Hey, PathM. This is Bye Bye Money, and this is part two of a series, Price Action Trading for Beginners. Part two, we will be going over how to find a two-legged pullback or a second entry, which are the same thing. If you do not know how to count legs, I highly re recommend that you watch part one, since that will provide the foundation on how to find the two-legged pullback. The two-legged pullback is something that we try to look for in price action trading, because it gives us a high probability chance of gaining a scalp of one point in the ES. Now, why is a two-legged pullback important? Al Brooks, the father of price action trading, he literally wrote the book on it, or the books on it. He says that the market likes to move in twos. The market likes to move in twos an uptrend or downtrend. And the reason being is because this is actually part of our DNA. It's just, ever since the market has started, we have always seen this two-leg pattern. The reason why the market moves in twos in a psychological or a trader's perspective is because you always have people buying and selling, people trying to take profits and people trying to enter into positions. So for instance, when you go down, there will always be bears somewhere trying to take their profits and the longs trying to enter into positions. So there will always be some sort of move in the other direction and then a continuation. Same with the upside. You have bulls who want to get the profits and bears who want to enter positions. And then you have bulls enter again here. And this, is, this causes the two legged moves. And this is why it is part of our DNA. Otherwise, the market would literally look like this without any deviations, no one taking profits along the way. So the two-legged move is part of our DNA. Well, if the market likes to move in twos, we would like to use this information when we trade. And it's very important when it comes to price action trading. We'll begin with first identifying a trend. Here, we see a downtrend. This blue line is a 20 EMA. And so we see the price is going down under the 20 EMA. And what we are looking for is a pullback, preferably to an important area, such as the 20 EMA, and then a continuation of the original trend. And this is the concept behind a two-legged pullback. Technically, there is a way to find a two-legged pullback. It is a very technical definition where every tick matters. And this is where counting legs is important. When we try to find a two-legged pullback, we have to learn how to count legs. Or we need to know how to count legs rather. We have a downtrend here. And so now we are looking for a, not just a pullback, but a two-legged pullback to an important area such as 20 EMA. And so here, what we find is our two-legged pullback.
we have one leg here. which I signify with a zero. Then in this pullback, this will be our first leg up or the first pullback. Now we have a, what we call, now we have what we call a first entry. I will label this with a zero. Technically, this should be a one, but for this example, I will use it as a zero. So it's easier to count. So we have our first pullback and now our first entry, but we are looking for a two-legged pullback. So now we are looking for a two-legged pullback at an important area. And here we have our second pullback, which I will signify with a one. So we have our second pullback here coming back to an important area around the 20 EMA. The two legged pullback has now completed. And so now we are looking for a second entry, which happens when a candle breaks a prior candle's low, beginning the next down leg. In this case, after two-legged pullback, it will be considered a second entry, which we see here. Here, we will label this second entry with the count of the down leg. The count of the down leg here is zero. And so the second entry we find after a two-legged pullback. So we have the current trend and then a pullback from the current trend. And after the two-legged pullback, we expect a resumption of the original trend. So we have the downtrend. We have one pullback, first entry second pullback, second entry. It's a label zero on the top because this pivot high is higher than this pivot high. And if you can recall from the first video, the count resets when there's a higher pivot high on the down legs. And so even though this says a zero, this is still the second entry. In a sense, you don't have to mind the number on top to see if it's a second entry or not. What's important is to see the number of the up leg. The number of the up leg here is a one, and so that signifies it is a second pullback, or the second leg of the two-legged pullback. And after that, we call this the second entry on the next down leg. Well, the way we will enter into this two-legged pullback is first, we need to see that a two-legged pullback has occurred in a current trend. Secondly, we will place our stop order one tick under the prior candles low. So in this instance, our stop order will be right here. The prior candles low. Uh, when a candle triggers the stop, the candle before it will be considered the signal bar. This is your signal bar. And the candle that enters into the order, which is the very next bar, this bar will be called 
your trigger bar. For it is the bar that triggered the order. When you enter into this trade, you want you are looking for a one point profit. And this is what we call a scalper's profit, which is in total five ticks from the low of the signal bar. Four ticks for the one point and one tick for your stop order. And so our target for this trade is five ticks from the low. So we are at the 75 mark. We are trying to enter, we're trying to exit at the 50 mark. That is our target. Once we enter one tick below the low of the signal bar. And as we can see here, this would have given us our scalpers profit, which is one point or five ticks. The way you create your stop loss, in this case, will be two ticks above the signal bars high. Everything labeled, this is your stop loss. This is your stop order. And this is your limit fill. That is your limit fill for one point. So this is how we construct our our trade. And you can get, to get more out of this trade, you can also create a runner, which can continue if the trend continues to go down. And that's the two-legged pullback. And it will be our bread and butter when it comes to trading this price action trading strategy. And that's it for this video. Hope that's been helpful.